Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to another episode of how to get the effing thing to work. And uh, on the agenda tonight we have Blazing Angels 2. Apparently some people have been having some issues with it, so have I. How on earth did that get in there? Okay, so let's see how we can get this bad boy to run and I'll catch you on the other side. Right, so first things first is that, uh, yeah, you need to install the game. And just to let you know that uh, the one that I tested it on was the retail version of the game. It was a brand new copy. I have not tested this on the Steam version of the game, but I see no reason why it shouldn't work all the same. So once you've installed, uh, you will need to patch it to 1.1, as it says here. Um, click the link and you can download it to whichever, I'm not going to do it because I've already done it, download it to a uh, location of your uh, choosing and uh, then you just, it's like an exec file and you just click on it and it installs. Um, the retail version uh, that I used um, actually updated automatically which uh, for Ubisoft is quite an achievement uh, since it's that game came out in 2007 and it's now 2052 um, yeah so God knows what's going on with Ubisoft. But anyway, it's uh, automatically passed it to 1.01. .01. So, then you'll want to start running the game. And that's where you may come into the first issue, which is, it looks like it's going to go, but it doesn't, and it crashes. Then you try it again, it crashes, you try again, it crashes. Um, so what you need to do is you go... Uh, to the PC Gaming Wiki page of Blazing Angels 2, Secret Missions of World War 2. And we scroll down, you see, you see there's absolutely F all here <laughs> of any use. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so game crashes. It's, it's the input 8 again, the DLL file. So, yeah, so you click on that. It takes you to another page. It says download this file, agree and download. There you go. Takes 15 seconds to download. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to cancel it. Um, and then you grab you. Uh, it comes in a a raw file. Uh, you just extract it to wherever you want to extract it to, and then you need to put it. Excuse me. Yeah. And you need to put it. Where are we? Find your game installation folder. Here we go. Uh, find your bin file. So you go to wherever your game is installed then you go to the bin file folder sorry of that installation folder and you just copy and paste it in there and there it is then when you try and launch the game it works I mean I applied the compatibility for Windows XP service pack 2 and ran it as administrator I tried it with, I tried it without, that didn't seem to make any difference, it still launched and still worked, so if you wanted to do that just for the sake of it, there's no harm in doing it, it doesn't do anything. Um, so yeah, as a sort of a, like an extra precaution, uh, that's absolutely fine. So that's that done, so game now runs. Right, next thing, screen refresh rate. Uh, so here's the uh, fixed refresh rate. Now, what you'll need to do, it says there, is navigate to that. It's a start, regedit, and you need to navigate to over ha, like this. And then you will find resolution refresh rate. Mine currently says 75, but you go that and modify. You need to change it to decimal. As my monitor refresh rate is 75, I changed it to 75. It was already defaulted to that. Um, I just left it as is, but as we will see when we start spark up the game, um, it still runs at 59 to 60 FPS regardless of what figure you put in there. I don't know. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, if it runs at 60, it runs at 60. That's fine by me. Uh, as long as it's nice and smooth and it's a uh, nice smooth experience, that's, that's good enough for me. So, then I thought, hmm, what about if I... Uh, Want to change the screen resolution because in game 
the maximum screen resolution you can get is what was it uh, good grief 1440 by 1050 something like that uh, I run at games at 1920 by 1080 that's my maximum resolution on my monitors uh, it's not there it's not there at all looked around for some fixes there's nothing on here uh, it tells you to go to widescreen gaming FAQs or whatever it's called uh, that website and then that refers you back to here <laughs> so it's just mm, okay so uh, what do you do well it was while I was doing the reg edit thing that I noticed either side of resolution refresh rate there is resolution height and there's resolution width well 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 um, and you do exactly the same thing as you did with the re refresh rate so width you go right click modify change to decimal put in whatever width you want I put 1920 and for the height again right click modify change to decimal change it to 1080 and there you see 1920 by 1080 close it all down obviously you take your, you take your chances when you start messing around with the uh, registry values but it's nothing nothing of ma again nothing of major importance but it might break your machine who knows it hasn't broken mine I did a, a little test recording once I changed the screen resolution 1920 by 1080 and I did a two minute video and as you can see here the frame width was 1920 the frame height is 1080 that's on game capture on OBS not on, not on display because obviously on display capture it would it, it would be 1920 by 1080 I did game capture and uh, this is it and it is version 1.1 as you 1.01 as you can see and this is 1920 by 1080 Alrighty then, let's have a look at the game now. It's uh, we've applied the uh, the fixes and see what happens. It launches. It's loud. So I'll stick the uh, overlay on, so I'm going to cut through this, get to the actual game. I'll pick my... Where is it? Oh, there it is. There we go. Get some proper, uh, whew, proper sound going on. There we go. It's running at 59, and it does go up to... It, it does sort of alternate between 59 and 60, but... It seems to run pr pretty sharpish. Uh, let's just crack on into the game itself. I haven't set up any keys, so I'm not going to be playing it as such. I'm just going to do the opening cutscene and uh, leave it at that. This is a complete different opening to the first game. I mean, I played a bit of the first game. Oh, years and years ago. Yeah, we're still doing 59 frames. And there we go. We're in. I'll move the plane a bit. Yeah, fifty nine sixty. Yep, yeah, so it looks like uh, it's pretty pretty smooth at the moment. Uh, I'll have to obviously fully check it out when I play the game itself, but uh, yeah, we got it to go. Anyway, thanks all for watching. Catch you in the next one.